My story is simple. I am a man who was at one point a minister to society. During my sentencing in 2003, in which I received seven years in prison and three years post-supervision release of parole, District Attorney Paul Urban told the judge, it's people like him who hold citizens hostage in their own homes. Later, Judge Affronti told me, Mr. Powell, I really hope that after you serve this sentence, you will return a law-abiding citizen, which I highly doubt. He told me that to my face. I'll stand for right here. <laughs> they were talking about a 21-year-old black male who had never met his father. A young man who grew up in one of the worst neighborhoods in the city, on Cypress Street. A high school dropout, a drug dealer. Still, I received the maximum amount of time allowable by state law. According to the U.S. Bureau of Justice Statistics, in 2013, the U.S. housed more than 2.2 million people in federal and state prisons. And that did not even include the 4.7 million people who were on probation or parole in 2013. I remember when I was a teenager, my mother used to warn me that the people who I thought was my friends wasn't. It proved to be true as I sat in a New York State prison for six years, never receiving a visit, letter, or mail from anyone who I considered to be a friend at the time. I told God in my understanding that if he would just allow me to come through this, I would dedicate my life to him. I would do good and avoid evil. I would not return to the street. And you know God is good, right? Yeah. He told me that jail was the black man's cop. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that sentiment now, but it made a lot of sense to me at the time. So I really began to engage with my time as a war cop. When I would read a book, I would look up the meaning of every word that I didn't know. I received a GED and later became a tool to other inmates in the Rwanda Correctional Institute. And that's the city I met my brother Kyle later. I took up a trade in general business and taught myself how to type 55 words per minute. I also wrote six books while incarcerated, two of which I published today. That's not bad for a ninth grade dropout. Someone please tell District Attorney Paul Urban and Judge Reginald <laughs> that all young black men are not the same. Yeah.